A warning tonight for consumers from authorities about a Bucks County business. As our Alicia Nieves tells us, the owner is now facing charges for allegedly ripping off dozens of customers. This Bucks County business is at the center of a scam alert. Its owner, Gregory Bertino, has been arrested on charges of theft and deceptive business practices. He's a low life. I think they hang him from the highest tree. It wouldn't matter to me in the least. Authorities allege since Robert's Motor Mart opened two years ago, the owner has been bilking customers. Customers like Robert Krasinski still steaming mad for paying nearly $400 to repair his snowblower. They did nothing to it. Tom Wakely, another customer who says he ordered a $450 power washer from the shop and never received it. I was so mad. I, I you know, I was like, you have to be kidding me. On top of criminal charges, the state attorney general has just announced he has filed a lawsuit against this shop's owner. The suit includes eight customers who say they have been defrauded, deceived, and now out thousands of dollars. We believe there are others in this region, others here in Bucks County, who have been scammed as well, and we want to hear from them and we want to fight for them. We found this man not included in the suit, but now plans to call the AG's office. He paid $377 to Robert's Motor Mart to fix his lawnmower last year. It's been sitting outside the shop since, and now it's likely completely unusable. It's just a shame because it's a local business, and I like to support local businesses, but, you know, at least this gives awareness to others to be careful where you're taking your things. The Attorney General's office suit aims to get everyone their money back and... We want to put him out of business and make sure he can't scam others. We tried reaching Gregory Bertino at his business in Lower Southampton Township. No, Greg's not here at the moment. Can I ask him? And we tried calling him several times. So far, no response. In Bucks County, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.